Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom toggle switch in Jetpack Compose. The switch is a well-known UI component that allows the user to pick between two states. It is composed of two key parts, the handle and the track. The track forms the background and the handle is the part you can drag left or right. I have spent some time trying to customize the standard switch from the material design library, but the possibilities are really limited. You can change the icon or color palette, but that's not enough to make a really unique UI element. So I decided to make one from scratch. The purpose of the switch will be toggle between dark mode and light mode, so the design should also match it. As you can see in the animation, the switch consists of couple of moving layers to achieve the desired look. Layers move horizontally, vertically or change the color. I start by drawing all graphic parts as a simple vector shapes in Inkspace. Here you can see the whole process at the higher speed. When the drawing is done, I export all parts as SVG images, so I can import them into the Android project. I use the resource manager to import all SVG files. And I have my images imported. I create a new composable, let's call it dark mode switch and add some input parameters. Also, let's create a preview so we can immediately see how the UI looks. I would like to see the dark mode switch in both states, checked and unchecked. So I light them into one column. Another way to achieve this would be to use preview parameters. However, then I would need to create a new data class, provider and list of states, which is a bit overkill for one boolean parameter. For now, I hardcoded the switch size. I create the parent box with a rounded shape and a background color. There are two colors. When the switch is turned on, the background is black and when the switch is off, the background is blue.
I use canvas to draw a background image because it's very easy to resize and position the image according to my needs. I obtain the bitmap from resources and then I use the draw method to draw the image. But as you can see, I need to resize it so the image width is the same as the canvas width and the image height is scaled accordingly. Then I can use the translate method to move the background vertically. So it creates this nice effect where not only the background color changes, but also the sky moves. That was the track part of the switch. Now let's focus on the handle. For this part, I use another box with background image of the sun. And very important part is to set the position right. To move the handle horizontally, I use the offset modifier. Figuring out the right offset can be a bit tricky. In light mode, the process is relatively straightforward because the handle position remains constant, resulting in offset of zero. But when we switch to dark mode, things get a bit more interesting. The calculation involves subtracting the handle width and both paddings from the canvas width. I update content alignment in the parent composable to fix the vertical position. And of course, I have to fix the code calculating the offset as I wrote it the other way around. The second part of the handle is the moon, which overshadows the sun in the dark mode. From the implementation perspective, it's just a child image. The image will be moved to the side in the light mode using the graphic layer modifier and translation property. The part of the moon that doesn't overlap the sun won't be visible when I add the clipping modifier to the sun. I add one more image to make the sun and moon glow. It's just a semi-transparent gradient that will move together with the handle. The glow is below the handle and for simplicity I don't use any parent-child relationship between these objects. However, because of this I have to calculate the right position of the glow, which could be a little bit tricky again. The center of the glow should be in the same place as the center of the handle. But by default the center of the glow is in the center of the switch. To move it to the left position I have to subtract the center which is half of the size of the image but I have to also add half of the size of the handle as well as padding. Then the position should be correct in the light mode. For the dark mode it's the same calculation just with opposite signs. Ok, so the design is done. Let's focus on the functionality. At first, I add toggleable modifier, which configures the component to make it toggleable via input and accessibility events. I set the role to switch and all necessary parameters. Now the switch should work. We can test it directly in the preview. I would just have to slightly modify the code so the value is remembered and it's changed in the callback.
I switch to interactive preview mode and it works. Kinda. The state is switched by clicking, but there is no animation. So let's fix it. Instead of having the boolean value true or false, I need a float value from 0 to 1. So I map the checked value to offset value using animable. When the checked value is changed, the new coroutine is started, which gradually changes the offset. The last part is to get rid of all if conditions, checking the state, and replace them with the linear interpolation using the offset. Let's switch to interactive mode and test it again. It looks much better. Thank you for watching and if you found the value in my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.